Hey MC Dan, welcome to my channel. I am feeling like super saucy. <laughs> In my pink, one of my favorite colors. You know, it give me that little pop, that little extra wow, water with wow. Um, in this video, I will be hitting another key topic that's pertinent to my relationship advice series. All right, and this topic I know a lot of women and men can relate to. It is a pet peeve for many, including myself right so i know i will be mashing corns and mashing potato and mashing everything because people are gonna be in their feelings after watching this video you know mature mccann we not gonna fall we can't see anyhow today's topic is dating a pathological liar you ever hear, I think Katie Knight said it already in Parliament, you are a pathological mendacious liar. Imagine dating a pathological liar. Someone that is not a normal liar, an excessive elaborate liar. That can be so draining, so toxic, so depressing, you know, so everything being in a relationship with somebody who is a pathological liar. And before I elaborate further on the topic, I'm going to ask you guys to kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share my videos with a friend so they can subscribe. All right, so I'm going to share with you um, what pathological lying means right so that you guys understand and don't mix up a pathological liar with just someone who will tell a lie to get themselves out of trouble right so a pathological liar is a person who frequently tells lies the person tells lies without a reason a cause they don't think about the consequences there's no solid reason they just tell lies on top of lies, on top of lies, on top of lies. The way they're so lie, they don't even plan the lie, they have the lie on spot. The way them lie, them tell the lie and they believe the lie and expect you to believe the lie. So they believe themselves that it forces them to believe, to allow you to believe them, right? So that's pathological lying, right? No to the topic of dating a pathological liar whether it's a man or a woman dating a pathological liar will allow you as a man or a woman to even question yourself it will even allow you to wonder if your mental state of mind is being impacted or is something wrong with you or are you going senile because a pathological mendacious liar keeps telling lies and they will not catch up on themselves right they will not catch up on themselves and thus it's like yeah try say but i never this him tell me i said no man i want to have something to me and uh, that have happened to me where me i said no man i look at him and say to you abby because me i want to have something to me or I something to the person and I'm like me never tell you this I'm a draw back from a voice note like a couple months back and I say yeah that this is what the person said to me and again a pathological liar does not is not a normal liar is an advanced liar you liar you lie without a cause you liar you tell more lies than truths and let me tell you, see, if you're dating a pathological liar, you don't know when to believe the person. The person we talk to you, you say, I will never believe where a person you say. The person will lie that even when you have the evidence 
the person is going to look you in the eye and say that is not true or that is not me or you know the person will find every single lies in this world to tell you and it's like the lies them just come one behind the next and when they find out that you realize that they're lying they're going to force them to the center but that they will tell you and if you look like say you're the bad person or you're making up things in your head or you're twisting their stories because in their mind they believe the lies they've told you and because of that they might twist the story to make you know you're the one telling the lies right and I'm telling you, you see, if you're dating a pathological liar, it, it's a condition, the person is not going to change. Research actually shows that majority of pathological liars, they have started becoming or started being a pathological liar since their teenage days. So if you're in a relationship with somebody in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and they are a pathological liar, Come on, baby girl, pack up and go. Come on, baby boy, pack up and go. Because that person is not going to change. The person is not going to change. I'm telling you, the person is not going to change. All right, so you know what? I'm going to share with you an experience, right? I've dated a pathological liar. And... The person is so lion dry eye. <laughs> the person is so lion dry eye that the person lie on top of a lion top of a lion. Even the person remember you know, a pathological liar, them tell lie without a cause. Them just make up a lie. They don't I don't like them and them need to tell a lie to get themselves out of a trouble or nothing. It's just a hobby. They cannot go half an hour without telling a lie if they're talking to you. Right? And you see me? me? I'm an overthinker. So don't tell me a lie. I don't care who you are. And I did say this in the beginning of my video. Don't tell me a lie. Because, you see, this little peanut brain, it, it holds a lot. It holds a lot, I'm telling you. Right? I remember what I want to remember. And this pathological lie, I know, that I, I, um, I was dating. He lied about everything until one point he's talking and I block him out. So even to this day, I have this bad trait where once I think somebody's lying, I block them out and it's bad. It can impact you in that sense where because you've been with a pathological liar, you don't know when to believe somebody who is actually telling you the truth. Because I've blocked out this person when the person is talking because of how deceitful they are. Right? And... Because it becomes a hobby when somebody has to talk to you, I block the motive. I believe they don't tell you a lie. Because I said, mm -mm, not today. I don't want to lie today. You know, that kind of thing. And when the person is talking, you know, even when I'm listening, I'm saying, even when it's true, I say, should I believe this? Should I buy this story? I mean, I tell you, it's not like the person I find a justification in or the person I try different nothing and adapt. The person is just a pathological liar. The person cannot help himself. And in life, he'd get himself out in a problem. The person is just a lie. The person will just get up and tell a lie and say, John said this. John said that. And they say, oh, John said he said that or whatever. Because it's a lie. The person just get up and tell one bag of lies. And say, for example, see, see, because I realized that the person was so light, I, I'm, I'm the queen of evidence. Like, <laughs> hello, my phone memory full because I'm the queen of saving evidence, right? And I would save everything. And when this pathological liar realized that I started to save everything and I'm catching up and he wanted to conceal his lyingness, if that's a word, he would go into my phone. So say for example, I open the phone and I say, take me a photo. If you take a photo, the liar take the photo, the, the liar goes in my phone and delete the evidence, delete all of the evidence. 
So you see, like one day I go back to the person and say, you know, see him lie because whatever, whatever. No, no, me never said that. There is no proof of that. Me now, Miss Goody Two Shoe, take up our phone. I go pop out the phone and say, look at this. Where the photo there? Where the evidence they gone? Gone. The pathological mendacious liar delete the evidence from my phone. So that's how they are. They delete evidence. If they realize that you're picking up on, then they will try to convince you and cause you to think that you're going senile or you have a mental um, state of mind or it will, they will even allow you to they'll play any emotions and your mindset and your intelligence because there's a no man I just seem tell me is it that I'm losing my senses and this this these type of persons they buy their own lies and if you're like me I, I don't want to date somebody that is so lie that when they talk to me I don't believe one ounce of what they're saying the person will just be telling me something normal and I don't believe because this is a pathological liar. And because of that, there will not be any good or solid communication in that relationship because of how lie the person is. So my advice to you, if you are dating a pathological liar, I mean, sometimes we don't want to start over, we don't want to stay my advice to you is leave because it's it's actually something that has been developing from an early stage and you can't just change a pathological liar like that it's a series of stages that will allow you and that person to work and to get that person to change and it will not be easy for me a liar is a no-no for me even if I am going to get in trouble. I'm going to tell the truth. Let the truth put me in problem, but I am going to tell the truth. You get what I'm saying? Minutes will never tell life for. Tell the truth if you're doing something or you're, you've, you've been lying that it becomes a hobby and it, it becomes so toxic. You don't want to be in a relationship where you don't believe an ounce of things that your partner says to you right you don't want to so some of the ways that you can allow let this person know that you find out that they're a pathological liar is as I say draw for your evidence share with them that you know that they're lying share with them that listen it's a condition that you have share with them that they need psychological evaluation and support right and they know in the initial stage, but again, it becomes a part of them. So it is hard for them to break out of that. It's hard. It's hard, me tell you. It's hard. Do you know what I tell you, sweetie? Pack your things and go. Pack your things and go. Because dating a pathological liar will affect you. And if you're not strong, maybe you all become light too. Then imagine it torn in a one relationship and it torn it just lies so. Eh? Imagine you good, good, you in a relationship and all this nice, lovely woman and you don't tell lie and you believe in being honest. And you just find a pathological lie and say, you know what? Me gonna lie too because it's easier to do the bad than the good. And bang, the torn up coming like magnets. Is a lifeful relationship. <laughs> a relationship filled with lies. You don't want that for yourself. You don't want to be too toxic. As you see certain toxic traits. Run, 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 run. Alright, so I would implore you. I'm going to post some links below about dating a pathological liar. How to handle the situation, do's and don'ts, and what to look out for. All right, so that concludes this episode of Relationship Advice titled Dating a Pathological Liar. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned. Another series will be coming soon. Bye bye.